Hello, hi, good morning, welcome back. I, it's been a rough week for me. I, uh, today's Wednesday, I haven't vlogged since Thursday of last week, so almost a week. Had a wonderful Friday, had an amazing Saturday morning. My little brother got engaged. He proposed to his now fiance, Bethany, who you guys have seen on the vlog here and there on, on family trips and stuff. And she's also Jaden's sister. So not only are Bethany and I gonna be family, Jaden and I are gonna be family. I'm just, I'm so excited. So amazing, I just, absolutely thrilled on all ends. And then also on Saturday, I I got food poisoning or a stomach bug or some something was wreaking havoc on my body. And uh, it was a rough, rough couple days after that. I just felt completely depleted. Was starting to feel better from that on Monday. And then yesterday, Tuesday, like I should have been to the point where I was like ready to go. Like physically I'm better, my energy's coming back. Like I'm excited to, to get back into work stuff and to, to not just be holed up in my bedroom. But um, I just kind of slipped into a depression yesterday. Yesterday was tough for me and it, it I was gonna say, and it shouldn't have, and it shouldn't have been, but no, like though I know that those kind of things are hard for me when I am sick or have some sort of like routine disruptor. It just is kind of a, a trigger for my bipolar disorder. And a lot of the times it's hard for me. It, it's hard for me to crawl out of that. But I, I took some intentional steps to try to set myself up for success. I went on a walk. I washed my hair and like detangled it and everything. I had like a, a solid meal, drank a lot of water. I had a lot of great time with Grace and then got caught up on work stuff in the evening. And like physically, I'm feeling completely better. It's now just like, okay, mentally, I need to kind of push out of this fog. So I'm I'm hoping that that's what today can be. Today is a work day. I we have childcare today. So I got that uninterrupted time to just really dive into work stuff. Also Wednesdays is when the team comes in. So I get to be around Jess and Jaden and Kenzie. So hopefully that like fun group atmosphere will really lift me up as well. So yeah, that is uh that is the hope. That is the plan. I had a couple meetings that were supposed to be scheduled for Monday that I moved to today. And then today, I also had a lot of meetings. So today is going to be very meeting heavy. And you know what? In, in vlogging and in talking about this, I feel excited for the day. I feel optimistic. I'm like, wow, I'm gonna have a good day. It's gonna be fun. And then all day tomorrow, I get to be with Grace just in, in mom mode and not throwing up constantly. So that that's, these are, this is, these are positive things. We're in a good space. Oh, all right. I'm going to take a quick shower, wash my hair, or wash my hair, wash my face, refresh my hair, do some skincare, and uh, head upstairs to the office. All right, showered, hair is refreshed, got on one of my new bras. I am so excited about this, the, the bras that I have, but also the video, which uh, by the time you're watching this is already out, so. What are you doing here still? Go watch it. I actually no. I mean stay stay here, please, by all means. But after mosey on over to the Sierra Schultz channel. <laughs> two of my meetings today are for uh the next two main channel videos. The very next one we're shooting next week. So we're, this meeting is like our kind of last production meeting beforehand to go over the game plan, all the details. Uh that video we're shop we're doing like a thrift store shopping challenge where we all have to shop for each other with different aesthetics in mind. So just finalizing all the mechanics of that. And then the video after that, which will go live in April. Seems far off, but uh, planning in advance like this, especially with group content is, is imperative. Um, but this video, we are getting a professional color analysis done. If you've seen those videos on TikTok where like, they drape fabric over you and tell you what colors you're best suited for. There's also like a filter for it on TikTok that tells you uh, if your color palette is a spring, winter, summer, or fall. So we found a place in San Diego that does it. It's called House of Color in La Jolla. My producer, Rachel, had a call with the owner of that store um, yesterday and she said it was amazing and that she thinks it's gonna work out super, super well. So 
this call today is just me, Kenzie, and Rachel kind of talking over the the top line details of what that shoot will look like and, and what we need to, to start working on beforehand. Okay, I wanted to put on the Dior lip oil, but I realized I don't have it down here because I think I took it up to my office. So I'm just gonna put on this Glossier Rose Balm.com for a little bit, a little bit of glossy moisture. Now, all right. Let's, let's get dressed. Okay, I'm just gonna go with this black t-shirt dress. It's super easy, comfy, low effort, but not pajamas. So I at least feel like I, I tried a little bit. Up we go. We're getting hydrated again today. Oh, Jaden's here. Hey, Jaden. Soon to be sister. Ah! How do you feel? I'm Your so sister good. marrying my brother. Oh, the day has finally come. It's happening. It happened. It's official. I know. It's literally soon to be like, you're my sister-in-law. Yeah. Well, can, so, I'm just going to say sister-in-law. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to do the sister. Sister-in-law's sister. sister? And I'd be your brother-in-law's sister? No. Yeah, no, we don't have time no. for the whole thing. Your no. mom actually came up to me. I saw her at church and she was like, oh, my niece? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. My daughter's sister-in-law sister we're just we're just all we're family just, yeah. <laughs> i'm so excited we literally had to keep this secret for so long so, so long <laughs> and now it happened I catch cry. catch me and Jaden at the wedding tearing up the oh, dance yeah. floor oh yeah <laughs> getting down <laughs> all right i had a quick meeting this morning about a sponsor thing now i am getting to a couple emails oh i also need to schedule the the next vlog to go live tomorrow morning so let me just start that upload process now the thumbnail and everything's already done so literally all i have to do is upload write the description and and that kind of stuff so it'll be pretty quick okay now while that is going um i am gonna go record a voiceover for a tiktok i did like a, a mini vlog of the day that we went and filmed the bra video so rachel cut that already i just have to do the voiceover so i'm gonna head into the podcast room and do that all right voiceover for the bra video mini vlog today is our first day back shooting for the main channel and i am so, i'm so excited a little nervous y'all that was literally so quick i i don't think i had to do a second take of a single line usually i stutter at least a couple times and then we'll like start the line over but no it was just one straight solid take go me see it is it is gonna be a good day i just came out and jada goes that was fast <laughs> that's what i was just saying that was fast all right i i actually have to take the memory card out of this camera so that i can send that voice over to rachel she's gonna cut that and then oh i should i should finish scheduling the vlog for tomorrow okay vlog is scheduled all of my emails have been taken care of and uh it's now 11 22 kenzie's getting here at 11 30 and then we're gonna work on the mood boards for each of the different aesthetics for the thrift store challenge and then right from there we'll go into our big group meeting for that that same video video, which Rachel just sent the production schedule over for. So I'll take a couple minutes to look over this until Kenzie gets here. And y'all, I am on it. I already drank one entire Stanley cup. My goal is two of these a day and I already finished one. So I'm going to, I'm going to go fill it up again. We're, we're doing good. We're, we're turning this ship around. We're doing good. Row, row, row your boat. Love you for always. Okay, so I saved some more that I want to add. These are editable, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, so cottagecore I love. Okay. I love all these inspiration photos. I pulled a couple more um, to get more like body diversity mm -hmm. and also like skin tone diversity because I like all of these styles, but I feel like the jeans is maybe not enough so mm -hmm. we have i thought this was like simple mm -hmm. that could show how you can make it work at a thrift store it was really hard to find like plus size yeah. inspiration so i just i found as much as i could so let me airdrop these to you and we can decide which ones we want to swap mm -hmm. out maximalist th this is my favorite mood board yeah there was one that i had saved that i ended up not remembering to put in this one. Ooh, i like that one okay 90s grunge love this mood Okay, let's get going. So there's a lot. This video is going to be um, so much fun, but literally while I was putting this together, like the chaotic vibes are going to be up here. So I feel like having a good idea in our heads of what to expect beforehand is going to help us actually get a video out of it instead of just like an amazingly fun day. Um, <laughs> 
So, a little bit of an earlier call than last time. We're going to start at 8 a.m. The store is open to us starting at 9, but the store opens, opens at 10 to other customers. So, we're really going to try and get done with, I mean, they don't care if we're still filming while customers are there, but just for our purposes, I would love to be out of there as close to 10 as possible, which is why we're starting a little early. Then, we are going to have Sierra do a little intro and explain the rules of the challenge. And so we're all on the same page. The rules of the challenge are, we're gonna pick names out of a hat. We're gonna pick aesthetics out of a hat. And so we are gonna have printed out mood boards. We're still working on them that like really visually demonstrate each aesthetic. So even if you're not super familiar with it, you'll know what to look for and, and what kind of vibe. And I'm thinking what, yeah. we're, what we were just talking about in Slack that we wanna do is, so you'll pull just the name of the aesthetic out of the hat and then we'll hand you a manila envelope, which has the printed out mood board on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That. <laughs> That's funny because also I like, it'd be fun like to have it and you're like, oh, yeah, okay, it's like a little visual and you pull it out. All right. We just finished the production meeting. It went super well. I am so, so excited about this video. Um, but now actually we're going right into the next meeting, which is about our next shoot for 20 whatever. So Kenzie and Jaden aren't needed for this one. So they're working on some TikTok planning. And then Jess was just kind of listening into this meeting while she was working on some podcast things. So now that we're moving into the podcast meeting, she's going to come over here with me and we'll do this meeting together. Oh, and my battery's blinking, hold on. I got sweet green for lunch. My salad just got delivered. So I'm gonna eat this during our meeting. I, I am so excited about this. Get like some actual nutrients into my body. Much needed and also it tastes amazing. Okay, hello. Hello, Starshine. <laughs> wow, long time no see. Meeting is done, still working on the salad. Kenzie and Jaden came out just giggling about all the TikTok sounds they found. <laughs> so I'm taking my actual like lunch break now. Um, so I'm gonna finish my salad, just chill for a little bit. It's 1.30, so I'm gonna be off until two. Do I have salad in my teeth? No, okay, never mind. <laughs> and then uh, actually at two o'clock, my friend April is stopping by. She's a YouTuber. Her channel is called Coolerpa. I'm gonna link it in the description. She does sewing transformations and and um, she's working on this video and said she needed someone plus size to model one of the pieces and asked if I would do it. And I was like, yes, absolutely. We've done this together a couple times and it is always so much fun. So she's just stopping by to get some before pictures of me in the item she's transforming, get some measurements and stuff too. So we're gonna do that at two after my lunch break. April's here. Hello, come on in. Hello. Great to see you. I have a couple of dresses. I kind of just like got a few things for you just so we can try it on and see what's going to work best. My idea for these is to like use the bottom of the skirt and create like some sleeves to it. So Ooh. instead of sleeveless, it will have sleeves to it. Oh my God, I love that. So okay, so April was just showing me her finds and kind of her thoughts. I didn't, I didn't have the camera out at this point, but this is genius. Look at this. So cute, it's so trendy. A pillowcase. <laughs> and she's gonna turn it into a corset top. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I, sneak peek. I'm so excited. <laughs> Yeah, just let me know. That was just so much fun. I'm just consistently mind blown by April's brain. <laughs> She's so smart. She has such like an amazing creative vision for these projects. And it was just great to see her and her husband, Eric, and meet their friend, Mina, who's working with them too. Now it's about 3.30. We wrapped that maybe 15 minutes ago. Actually, it's 3.25. I have a, a meeting that starts 
at 3.30, my last meeting of the day. The It's the one about the color analysis video. Um, so before I jump into that meeting, I am just finishing up these inspo boards for the thrift video. That way Jaden can take these at the end of the day with her to get them printed for the main channel shoot. So we'll have like actual physical mood boards of each aesthetic, which I think will be really cool. I'm doing it on PicMonkey because uh, it's still haven't learned Photoshop, but um, I'm just adding a little border that's in the same shadow color as this text. So I added the border to the photo and then I got to change the text because this one is the baddie mood board. Y2K was the last one. Double check that everything is centered and looks good. Cool. Now we can export. And then now we just got to do the last one, which is Adam Sandler, <laughs> a baddie. <laughs> And now we've got all of our mood boards ready to go. Okay, I'm just sending these in an email to Jaden so that she has them as a backup there. I also just airdropped them to her. And now, Kenzie, I will wheel over to you. For what, meeting number four? Yeah, three, meeting, three, meeting three, number four. four, five, three, something, meeting number infinity. Then each client is draped with fabric to determine their seasonal palette. You know, like if they're a summer, a spring, a winter, a fall. Minor coffee disaster. We had to pause the meeting. <laughs> we got to put Rachel up on a shelf while we clean up the mess. It's on, uh, yeah, the bottom of the laptop is covered. That's the main concern. Sorry, sorry, we're almost done. <laughs> okay. My tripod's gonna be a little sticky, but we'll, we'll survive. Um. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> 30 minutes per person to get draped, so three hours for that. So that's five hours. So if we start at eight. Later that same evening. We are making the most of uh, the last probably 15, 20 minutes of daylight we have out here. Yeah. Yeah, we're hanging in the yard. Grace is a snack, shooting some baskets. Oh, and she scores. Mommy's turn. Three, two, one. Go mommy, go mommy. Okay, will you bring me a ball and I'll throw it up really high in the air? That's a rock, not a ball. But it's kind of in the shape of a circle, huh? We shouldn't throw rocks in the basketball hoop though. They're heavy, so you could get hurt. You could put them in the bucket. Do you wanna sort the rocks into the bucket with me? Woohoo! and a score. Nicely done. All right, uh, Steven's with me. Hello, hello. Hello, it is a bit later. Grace is asleep. You have a good day? I did. I was talking this morning about how yesterday was really hard for me mentally after the hard mm. physical days before that. Yep. And today was super easy. Yeah. Like really good. Your demeanor has like done a complete 180. Mm. So it's made me very happy. Even just hearing you like run around, you know, hoot and holler with Grace. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, she's she's doing better. <laughs> I know. That's the thing. Yesterday was like the first time I was like, felt like I really was able to like play with her again. And yeah. then, but still we were like inside playing with toys. We went outside for a little bit and like, I just kind of like sat and watched her play. And today, this afternoon, I'm so glad I came down because I like really got to like play with yeah. her. Yeah, I agree. How was your day? It was good. It was funny. Your, uh, Sierra's dad was watching Grace today. And when I came down to like, you know, send him on his way. He's like, oh, you work from home today, huh? And I'm like, because I was in my PJs. I'm in my PJs right now. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> I forgot how strange it can look to like come down in PJs. I'm like, oh, I'm not at work. Um, but it was a good day. Just busy. Busy, busy. Busy, busy. Well, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I am trying to go to bed early tonight. Mm -hmm. I need some rest to uh, bring some life back into my body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed early too. Um, my 6.15 6 a.m. Uh, Orange Theory class tomorrow. Ooh. Oh, all right. Well, uh, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys next time. <gasps> Bye. Bye.